Kenneth, thanks for joining us today. This was a really unexpected little parcel that arrived, so I thought I would jump on and share it with you. If you have been watching my videos, you may have seen a recent upload that I did with a Yes Style haul with lots of Korean skincare. So while I was on the Yes Style website, you could sign up to be an influencer, not that I like that word, but I thought it would be a way of me giving you a discount code for that video. And if you use that code, then I get a little kickback as well, which is always nice. And after I'd signed up, they sent me an email saying, would you be interested in applying to unbox a mystery box of goodies. Um, I think they called this one the July Box of Chic, I think they called it. So I said yes, not thinking that I would actually get selected because I think it's just an email that they send out to all of their um, influencer subscribers. And one turned up in the post a few days ago and my daughter had a sneak peek in there and she has been dying for me to do this video that she said that she can nab a lot of these items so first up when it arrived it actually came in this really cute little bag which i really love i love how simple it is i like that it's got short straps and like a long strap as well and i thought this would be great for like a beach bag or just like a shopping bag so i can keep all my bits in there all my little um reusable bags and like my wallet and things but it's a really good size so it's got this popper button pocket on the front and then it's a, actually a zip inside so that you all your things are safe and then oh, if i can get it open there is a little pocket as well on the inside for you to put your keys or your phone and then it came I don't know if you can say full of products so i've used the yes Style website a couple of times for skincare always skincare and um, they are a great place to shop for your korean japanese skincare products they always seem to have really good discounts on and even if they don't the prices seem to be quite reasonable but i haven't ever purchased anything else from their website so when this arrived and it had got all other sorts of goodies in i was really excited to see it so i'm just going to randomly pick things out there will be links to all of the items in the description bar below if you click through it it's an affiliate link so i'll get a little kickback if you use it feel free to use them don't feel like you have to use them if you're interested obviously you can just go onto the website and search for the things yourself first thing is a cap i haven't worn a cap in absolutely years i don't wear a lot of hats i suppose i should to protect my face from the sun um i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to get it on because of my high ponytail but you can sort of see <laughs> it's a nice maroon colored cap really plain and simple which i like i'm not into like heavily branded items but it feels really good quality it's quite thick um material this would be perfect for summertime I mean, I might try and wear it, but I might give it to my son for days on the beach or out in the garden just to protect his face from the sun. But that is really cute. I really like that, and I like that it's plain. It's so hard to find, like, hats for boys especially, like caps that aren't branded or don't have a slogan on or something. Um, so, yeah, I'm really happy with that because I much, much prefer something that's plain and simple. I love that colour, by the way. Perfect colour for autumn. I absolutely love that colour in autumn. Right, next up is one thing that I think me and my daughter are going to fight over. And this is a really cute little pencil case. Let me just get it out of the wrapper. Apologies, I think everything is in a, like a plastic bag, so there may be a bit of rustling. This is a cute little pencil case, and it is shaped like a little strawberry milk carton it is just the cutest thing and if you've ever looked at sort of any of these sorts of websites before for stationery things the stationery is always so cute it's like really attention to detail it's got like nutritional information it is just so cute i thought that this might just about house a few makeup brushes if i was traveling it's not a bad size um, but obviously my daughter is also eyeing it up because she is a stationery junkie. She absolutely loves stationery um, and that's why she's been keen to get into that. But I thought that was a really cute little pencil case. I really, really love it. I think we're going to be fighting over that one. That is our second item. I really love the little zip as well, how it's red and it just blends in with the pencil case. Love that. Next up we've got these 
which these say four colour stickers. I think they're just little, yeah, mini sticky notes. Again, my daughter's going to be after these. These would be ideal for work, just for making little notes. I often make notes on sticky notes and just stick them to my laptop so as not to forget. I love the colours. They're those pale blue colours. Hazy, opal, pebble and dew are the colours, by the way. But yeah, they're just really little post-it notes. They're really cute. But again, my daughter loves a post-it note. I mean, no idea why a six-year-old needs post-it notes, but she will write little notes and stick them all over the place. So yeah, she'll be after those as well. This is definitely mine. She is not having this. I spotted this in the bag and straight away I said, if there's something that I'm keeping out of this bag, it is this. And this is the cutest little bookmark. It's a little metal bookmark with a little sleepy kitten sitting on a book. And I am a huge reader, if you didn't already know. If you follow me on Instagram, I sometimes put on my stories. Well, I have been putting on my stories all of the books that I've finished reading, what I think about them, whether I would recommend them or not. And I'm always losing my bookmarks. My sister bought me a really nice metal bookmark. It's quite big and heavy and it can fall out of my book. I usually, usually carry a book around with me when I am... Um, commuting to work so that I can read on the commute and that bookmark falls out it's a really nice one but it just falls out all of the time whereas this should stay on quite nicely it's one of those that you clip over the page and um, it's really lightweight but it is very cute so that little bookmark is definitely mine my daughter is not having that for her book no chance next up is another item which I think I'm going to keep and this is actually an accessory and there's some little hair clips which I really like I haven't worn hair clips as like an accessory for me for a long long time I always put clips in my in my daughter's hair but I think these would be better for me there was a massive trend wasn't there not so long ago with the like the big clips and the pearls and the slogans and things but I didn't really get into it I looked at them a few times and I'm denied but I think when my hair's down or even when it's up like this some clips to just set it off a little bit and I really like the designs of these you've got like an oval one that's just um straight and then an oval one which has got like a waved um crinkled edge and then you've got this one which is like three little ovals and then this one which is like two triangles and I really really like them and I've never thought about looking at the accessories on this website before so I'm really glad that I got these because now I'm more open I think to going and having a look because they feel really decent quality it feels like a really decent strength clip so I will definitely be trying those out and I'll let you know how I get on I think I'm going to keep those. I think my daughter would like them as well. I've got quite thick hair. Her hair is quite fine. Although it's curly, it's quite fine. So I'm not sure if they would work in her hair. She needs something like solid in her hair to keep all the wispy bits together. Whereas I think because I've got thicker hair, they might manage better in my hair. So I'm happy to have those in my little collection. Then we've got this, which I'm definitely keeping as well. Although I know she'll be after it. Because, again, I think it's like a sticky note. I know it's not, it's just a rip-off pad, I might be okay then. This is like a little weekly plan, which I thought would be great for keeping on my desk at work or my desk at home, now that we're working from home a lot more. And it's obviously just got all of the days of the week and then just a little box for each day so that you could put plans, schedules, meetings maybe, or important things that you need to get done that day. I know it's only small, but... I mean, the majority of my um, diary things are just kept on my online calendar. But if there was something desperate that I def definitely needed to do that day or remember, then I think this would be a really cute way of keeping track of that. And I've not seen one so small before. I've seen the like the books or like the big pads that you can get. But this, I think, is a really cute little size. Won't take up too much room on your desk. And they are just tear-off sheets. I thought there might be... Um, like sticky but they're not they're just it's just a little tear off pad i really like that that one's definitely mine as well and something that my daughter will definitely get because she loves arts and crafts she's heavily into crafting and this is a little box of washi tapes and the colors are so cute they're like really muted colors oh the one at the bottom is a lot bigger as well a lot thicker so 
they are patterned your really thick ones um, are patterned and then you've got eight in like the more muted colors so you've got like purpley blue ones and then your pinky ones pinky lilac -y ones they are really cute she will love these she loves making cards and just collages and pictures and she will use these like nobody's business i have picked some up before for her in the past just from like poundland and home bargains and she's absolutely loved them and i think she'll really like those colors as well it's unusual i haven't seen any like that before i've seen lots with like prints and patterns on and they seem to be brighter colors whereas these definitely look more pastel -y, and i think they're really pretty so yeah they're really good i've never thought about looking on there for like craft supplies either but i bet they've got loads of stuff like this like little washi tapes and stickers and things so it might be a good place to head and check out if you are into your crafting talking about crafting we also got this which at first i was a little bit what on earth is this um but i think well i am sure it's just a sticker set but when i looked at them when i got them out and looked at them they're really unusual i don't think i've seen anything like this before these again would be ideal for journaling or scrapbooking or even perhaps doing like little photos for instagram and stuff some of the stickers are like your usual sort of like you've got a little love heart there which is quite cute a little leaf a little sock they're all transparent which i really liked so you could oh i've got a little heart there stuck to my hand i thought it was really good that they were transparent so they would be good for sort of overlaying if you were doing journaling or scrapbooking but there is loads of those little ones and then you've got some bigger ones which i thought were interesting because they're almost like um screens so there's this one which is a frosted one but if you can see it's got like as if you've been watching a video or listening to some music and then you've got like a phone looks like a phone front and you've got ones that say like instagram so i thought they might be quite cute to use for like an instagram photo if you could sort of use this somehow i'm not sure how yet haven't really thought about it that much but yeah i thought they were really interesting i've not seen anything like that before they are definitely stickers i did check on the website because i was intrigued as to whether they were just i don't know what i thought they were to be honest my daughter was adamant they were stickers and she was of course right so i'll probably let her have these little tiny ones I mean it's a cute little cat um she will love playing around with these putting them on cards and pictures and things for people but i might keep the ones that look like phones and fronts and see if i can do some sort of pictures with them for instagram it might be interesting they're really cute i haven't seen anything like those so yeah crafting wise you might be able to pick up some more unusual sorts of stickers and things for your craft book for your journaling or scrapbooking so yeah definitely go and check them out for those this is what my daughter has been after the most out of this box and these i felt it pens coloring pens whatever you want to call them these ones are from eye color it says it's a set of 12 colored pens orange affair i think it says but i'm not sure why because you have got a range of colors there they look like they're really thin nibbed which would be perfect for art for like drawing in really fine lines if you're into coloring coloring books color therapy and um, these might be nice some of the colors look quite unusual as well that one is like a petroly blue color i don't know about you but whenever i'm buying pens for my daughter or pencil crowns for my daughter i have to buy like a really big pack to get more interesting colors whereas this is a, a 12 pack and there's one two three maybe three four five colors that are unusual that you don't normally get in lots of lots of your usual multi-packs of pens there's like a, a peachy color a really pale purple like a maroony color which is unusual 
a, a green and then that like turquoisey petrol blue um i really like how thin the nibs are because i don't know whether it's just me but especially for children i find the nibs really thick and she's really trying to be careful with how she draws and coloring in the lines so she'll really love those these ones she's fallen in love with already because if you can see they're dual ended they're like neon colours, they're more like highlighters. And you've got a 3mm nib at one end and a 05 nib at the other. And they are really cute, to be fair. I can see why she's been hankering at getting her hands on them. Some of the colours, like the variants of pink that you've got there. And then again, with the blues, you've got really cute variants. She is just going to adore these a really lovely pale purple there so you can see at this end you've got more of your almost like a traditional felt tip pen end and then at this end you've got more like a highlighter nib end so this is the same the bold end and then the other end is the fine end these are called milk liner and yeah she's desperate to get her hands on these and do some colouring in and drawing with them so they will be going straight into her collection even though I would quite like to keep a few of these for work as like little highlighter pens but I will let her have them she is mad on drawing and colouring so it's right up her street and then just two more little items first up we have this which when I saw it, I was like, oh, a little bag. What could I use this for? I think it is meant to be for um, sanitary products for women, which I think is a great idea. I always struggle to find little pouches and bags to keep my things in. Mm. This is a really cute little design. I like a little florally leaf design. I love the colours. They're like the muted nude there and the deep bluey turquoise colour it's just a really cute little bag you've obviously got your zip at the top there's also that little loop there which you could maybe put a key ring on and hook it into your bag so that it's always there and you're not going to lose it equally you could use this for anything it's just a little pouch so if you wanted to keep a few mini makeup products in there you could you could i don't know a few mini toiletries for while you're out and about um, if you wanted to keep it to put your mask in and some hand sanitizer and like little bits that you've got to carry around with you now because of COVID, it would be ideal. And it keeps all your things together, not going to get lost in your bag. And then last but by no means least, we have a hand cream by Innisfree. Jeju, Jeju Life, not sure. Perfumed hand cream by Innisfree. I think it's 06 June. Not sure if there's any more information on it than that. In my bedside table, I always keep a hand cream and it's nearly out. So I'm just going to put a little bit. Oh my God, that smells gorgeous. It is really peachy and fruity. That's just sunk into my skin so quickly. It doesn't feel greasy at all. You know when sometimes you can get, you put a hand cream on and it just leaves your hands feeling really greasy. I don't tend to use hand cream too much on the palms of my hands. Um, I get really dry here in between my thumb and my index finger. So I usually put a blob there and like massage my two thumbs together. And then what I normally do is put a little bit on the back of my hand and rub them together that way. And then just use my palms to finish rubbing it in. Because you don't really need hand cream on the palms of your hand. I mean, unless you're like constantly in water or something and, and your hands crack. Um, they shouldn't get that dry, the palms of your hands. It's this part that you want to protect really and keep soft and smooth. And that's where I get my problems. Like I say, here mainly gets quite dry. And in winter it can get quite dry on the, on the like knuckles. Um... That is really nice. Oh, it smells gorgeous. I mean, perfect handbag size because it's only a little one. I think, how much have we got in here? 30 mil. So that would be perfect for your handbag. But I don't really use a lot of hand cream during the day now that I'm working from home a lot. I usually take a hand cream in my bag with me to work, but I'm mainly working from home. So that's not happening as much. But I always put hand cream on at night before I go to bed. So... I'll have to decide whether I want to keep it for my handbag for when I'm back at work more or whether I want to use it straight away because it does smell 
delicious and I don't think I've tried anything from Innisfree before so yeah really really love that maybe I'll check out some of their other products and that is everything that Yes Style sent me and I cannot tell you how pleased I am with the products that they sent and how surprised I am it's really good quality everything is really good quality like I said from um, checking the website previously their prices are really really affordable really reasonable obviously because of shipping it can cost a lot unless you spend over a certain amount I, I would always say wait until you want to buy a few things and get free shipping rather than having to pay a lot for your shipping just to ship one or two items but I'm really happy with everything I cannot wait to use this bag although white is probably the wrong color for me I am very messy but it is so roomy and I think that would be perfect for either the beach or for shopping love that the hat is really great quality the stationery and the craft goods all really great I want to look forward to putting those hair clips in I'll try and do some pictures on Instagram for you when I do and this smells gorgeous I'm definitely going to check out Innisfree next time I am on that website so guys that was quite a quick one I hope you all enjoyed the video let me know if you like any of these things let me know also if you're going to check out YesStyle don't forget the links in the description bar below are there for your ease but don't feel like you have to use them but if you do please be aware they are affiliate links so I will get a little kickback if you use that link and purchase um, if you don't want any of these items there is also a code that you can use to get a little discount off any products that you purchase off the website and that will also give me a tiny little kickback but it'll get you a discount as well so all the information is in the description bar below I hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up also leave me a comment down below on anything that you're interested in hearing more about anything that you like from this haul or if you've bought anything yourself from YesStyle that you would recommend I love chatting to you guys down there and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already click that little notification bell and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video thanks guys and I'll see you again